Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo Technical Developer. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please uh, go and uh, click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very important topic which is uh, which is related to uh, multi-company guidelines and the topic specifically for today is um, Odoo multi-company security rules so like uh, let me show you uh, this is our custom module uh, and we have two menus course and sessions and uh, we have multi-company setup for this database so currently I am logged in with the database my company San Francisco and let me uh, group by uh, company uh, so I cannot see the company group by so I can see here like this and let me hit the uh, group by company and here I can see the records uh, of yeah, San, San Francisco and let me change the company and you will see how what will happen so I, I'm just trying to uh, uh, teach you like how uh, the multi-company security rules will work and let me add the group by company and here you can see still you can see uh, three 13 records okay so why if we can see all the records uh, from the uh, other company and but we are locked in with uh, the Chicago company so this is because we haven't added security rules uh, which are for the multi-company setup and if you are interested to understand uh, in details uh, what is security rules uh, and why we add record rules so you will have to uh, check out the video uh, which is on our YouTube channel Odo discussions how to add record rules in Odo and uh, then you will understand the basics like uh, why we add it and what is the um, purpose of record rules but here we will just talk specifically about multi-company security rules so uh, let me show you how the security rules are added if you go to the settings first of all you will have to activate the debug mode and then uh, you will have to go to the record rules uh, so here uh, we will see record rules and let me search about uh, multi -company. company like this and here you will see a lot of uh, multi company record rules that have been added for different um, models so if you open the first rule so here you can see some of the information it, uh, that has been added so uh, you can uh, understand all this detail in this video if you uh, watch it but here i will just talk about this domain and uh, the other way you can check out uh, the record rule is if you go from the models and here or uh, open any model like sales.order uh, like this and if you open it and here uh, you will see only the record rules that are specific to this uh, sales order model and here you can see it's multi-company uh, uh, record rule but uh, if we search for the um, sessions model like open academy dot sessions model and here you can see open academy dot sessions and let me go to the record rule so here we cannot see any record rule because there is no record rule uh, for this uh, model and we have to add in this video so uh, let me add the record rule for this purpose uh, let me go to the py charm and here we have uh, this module and here we have added security folder and then inside the security folder we have a file with the name race.groups so here we already have a record rule which is for the model open academy course okay and here we have uh, I added this and explain uh, everything in the video that I showed you uh, and you can watch that uh, to understand this but uh, here let me just copy this to uh, add the multi-company uh, rule so here I will uh, add uh, like a record rule record rule uh, multi company okay like this and I will add here like um, courses and multi company like this and uh, the model is uh, obviously open academy dot course so we want to add for both of the models like for open academy dot course and open academy dot session so we uh, don't need to add uh, this group and we don't need to add these uh, parameters 
So we just need to add the domain force. So inside the domain force, what we need to add is uh, show the records only related to the company, either if the company is not set. So we will add if company ID is false or a company ID equal to company IDs. Okay. So what is company IDs? Company IDs will include the IDs of all the companies that uh, the user have selected. So I will show you like what this means. So we will have to replace in with uh, 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 equal to within and then duplicate the same rule and we have to add for the other model like uh, security rule so here we need to add a uh, course model and here we need to add for session model okay and let me replace this with session and here we will replace it with session like this and the domain force will remain the same because uh, and why we need we have removed the group because we want to uh, keep it as global so every user it should be applicable for every user okay and uh, the next thing we need to uh, do is uh, to upgrade the module okay go to apps uh, upgrade the module and then after the module upgrade uh, the first thing I will show you is the record rules uh, that um, if it has been added or not okay so uh, the module has been upgraded uh, successfully and um, then go to settings okay and uh, then uh, technical record rules so ha here I will search for the record rule with the name course so here you can see course multi-company uh, record rule added which is like a company ID show the record if uh, company ID is false or company ID is uh, in the selected companies and then uh, what I need to show is if you go to the open academy and here you can see mm, there is no record at all so we cannot see any record because we are logged in with our uh, company Chicago and if we go to the sessions so we will not be able uh, so we can see only one record so if we open it and here you can see it is related to Chicago so let me just uh, try to switch the company and then let's see what will happen so here we will be able to see all the records that are uh, related to this uh, with uh, company like a company San Francisco and uh, the same way if we uh, so let me just uh, show you how many records there are it is 10 records and let me uh, select both the companies so you will be able to see the records from both the companies okay so let me show you and here you can see 11 record and let me add a group by company like this and here you can see one record is from a company chicago and the 10 records are from a company san francisco so this is how you can add multi-company setups and multi-company uh, uh, security rules so if you enjoyed this this video please give a huge thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you